2 inch and 3 inch both synthetic so I'll only be using the 3 inch at the moment I'll only paint in a can so first of all just work the filament get some paint in So, the trick is being able to spread the paint. So, I'm working that way, starting here. Into that corner. And then I'm just coming onto that small bull nose. This is a Taurus skirt in this one. Then onto the flat. So tempting to start that flat first. So just tilting the brush slight angle down to that corner. Then you're able to cut in. Now then, there, just finishing along the flat, no need to come back up, and just keep working. problem cloth damn cloth if you need to and come back up any edges same again but I'll use the two inch this time so remember work some paint into the filament No drips coming off there, no problem. Well, this time I'm getting a bit closer. The two inch brush won't be carrying as much paint as the three inch, but still starting a little way out on the top. Always cutting in first. Now, if you do have, or you think you have too much paint on your bristle there, you can always just put a little bit more on, not going onto the flat, and then just come back up and have another go. So, again, not really too bothered about going onto that face yet, because if you happen to spread the paint out on the face, it starts to dry a little bit quicker, and then you end up with it flashing. Turning the brush slightly. Let's get down to that corner. And basically that's it. Again, keep on going. Choosing a good paint helps. Um, when you're spreading the paint out, if it's got good opacity, then you don't tend to apply too much paint. Um, a paint that's not got a good opacity, then you may tend to start to put too much on. You get curtains running. If you're overloading it on the top edges, you 
get a lot of build up of paint that sits along this edge and then you get curtains sitting along just on the face so if you're able to spread that paint out it's not too bad particularly worse with oil based paints so oil based paints that uh, maybe they're a bit too heavy the viscosity isn't right then as you're applying it you're not spreading it out enough and you get a big thick build up of paint which just starts to sag and again you can get curtains running all the way down so yeah not a bad paint this water based obviously with the synthetic brushes so the Dulux trade eggshell there diamond hard eggshell so good finish on it yeah choose a good paint also to prevent drips on this edge when you're applying on the face keep it flat to that edge don't work in an arc because also paint will build up and run these corners like I say working up to them you can apply the paint working it right not having too much on if you have a brush full of paint and you apply from here you're pushing a certain amount of paint ahead of that filament and get a build up in the corner so when you're working on a way painting it can start to run down this edge and you'll get drip forming here also when I did apply I worked from the architrave away that will also form drips if you work that way so always work away from those edges down here the trim isn't flush to the skirting this bit of architrave again I worked away from that you'll get a drip paint running and a drip at the bottom here if you're not careful if this was a corner of the wall and the skirting board ran back on itself with an external mitre again this time I would work that way draw your brush back you'll get paint running down the back edge and again you'll get a drip forming here so always just work away from edges and least amount of paint just enough to get on always remember starting with the top and if you notice the bristle isn't going the filament isn't going too far round I should spread it out bit more paint and then again notice the filament I'm not coming back over that edge again I don't need to another way of paint running is as it's starting to dry and then you're painting you start to put too much paint a thick amount of paint there that can start to sag sitting on slightly drier paint which you can't rub out so remember to lay the paint on and spread it out this is dry again now I'm going to recoat it but this time what I'll do is I'll just introduce a bit of a thick layer of paint here a bit of a drip hoping a drip will form and then I'll carry on I'll let this go touch dry and then I'll show you what happens what I do to sort it out now generally when you're painting something like this you will come back and just have a quick look over before you keep going but again yeah I'll treat this as though I've gone off clean my brush 
is now touch dry yeah that drip is still wet with my brush I've washed out it's damp I've spun it but it's still damp don't use a dry brush just rub that go and wash your brush quickly because this will dry hard no problem there that's gone